Hey, Austin Smith here, and welcome to Focus on Species. Let's talk about stick insects. Also commonly known as walking sticks or stick bugs, stick insects are an order of insects that include over 3,000 known species, with many more specimens yet to be formally described by biologists. As their name indicates, these insects are shaped in the form of various plant branches or sticks, the perfect camouflage to blend into their environment from predators. Some species are also shaped to resemble leaves. Many sway back and forth in an effort to mimic the effects of the wind and the plant they're standing on as well. All of this helps to protect them from the birds, reptiles, and small mammals that prey upon them. Stick insects can be found all over the world in warmer climates, each species suited to the type of vegetation that it lives on and eats. Because of their incredible camouflage, stick insects can often be extremely difficult to spot, but when they are discovered, they're an interesting animal to observe. So we're out near the San Pedro River in Cochise County, Arizona, and uh, came across a stick insect here. It's got perfect camouflage, hiding into all the twigs. Like all insects, stick insects have six legs and many others, like this species, have long flexible antenna on their heads that help them to feel their way through their environment. Only discovered in 2008, the Chan's megastick insect from Southeast Asia is the longest insect species in the entire world, reaching lengths of over 22 inches. Stick insect reproduction varies between species, and some females can lay eggs without needing a mate. Eggs from virgin mothers are entirely female and exact genetic clones of their mother. Other species that sexually reproduce, such as this mating pair of southern two-striped walking sticks, show sexual dimorphism where the males are substantially smaller than the females. Mating behavior is notable in stick insects because of how long they couple in a single mating act. A record among insects, one mating pair from India was recorded to have sex for 79 days straight at one time. Competition between males may explain the long duration of pairing as males try to guard females from other potential mates. Some competing males will even hide and wait for the sexually active male to get hungry, which forces him to dismount the female, leave for a moment, and find something to eat before returning to the act. While the dominant male is off taking a snack break to ease his case of the munchies, the hidden male takes his own chance at the female, crawling on top of her in the other male's absence. After mating is finally over, the female lays anywhere from 100 to 1200 eggs, depending on the species. The eggs of stick insects are unique little capsules, resembling seeds in their size and shape. They have hard shells and come in all different kinds of unique designs and colors. Their resemblance to seeds helps attract ants, which will carry the eggs in various directions, ensuring dispersal of the species. On average, nymphs take about 20 to 30 days to hatch and emerge from a lid-like trapdoor from the egg case. Adulthood is reached after a few months of growing and molting, the insects browsing on various kinds of vegetation throughout their lives. Lifespans range from less than a year to over two years in some species. Stick insects are essential to the ecosystems of many tropical forests, creating light gaps in trees for other animals by eating away at leaves. Their droppings, which are large for insects, also help to fertilize the soil for young trees. In some parts of the world, they're seen as a menace to crops, eating away at economically important plants. In some parts of the United States, large outbreaks of stick insects have left large stands of trees ravaged in parks. Ultimately, however, the stick insects are an important part of forest ecosystems across the world, also acting as a huge source of food for a number of birds and other animals. While many species are common, there are some that are critically endangered, like the Lord Howe Island stick insect, also known as a tree lobster. The animal is thought to have gone extinct in 1930 after it went missing on its home of Lord Howe Island, a small island to the east of the Australian mainland. People had been using the large insects as bait for fishing, and when rats were introduced to the island, the last of the animals were eaten. Seventy-one years later, in 2001, however, the species was rediscovered on a tiny rock islet nearby that had just enough vegetation to keep them alive. When they were rediscovered, there were only 24 individuals still alive, making them the rarest insect in the world at the time. 
Since 2001, captive breeding programs by zoos have saved the remnant number from extinction, and there are now thousands of the species in captivity. Unlike the Lord Howe Island stick insect, other species of stick insects are very common and several species are often used in laboratories and even kept as pets. So next time you're walking around outside, take a look at the bushes and trees around you and you may be surprised to discover that one of the branches is moving with six legs and two eyes staring back at you. If you enjoyed this episode of Focus on Species, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. You can also watch another episode right over here. Thanks for watching.